We start at the bottom and we can either take one step or two steps. If we want to count how many ways there are to reach the top, we can either take one step or two steps. We were able to reach the last step five times. We can take this idea and code up a recursive solution. If there are zero steps remaining, then we were able to reach the top. If n is ever less than zero, we probably went too far. Otherwise, n minus one. That's when we take one step. Also, n minus two. The problem is it's not efficient. Notice that three shows up multiple times and the result is always the same. Two shows up twice and the result is always the same. If we eliminate these duplicate trees, we end up with something that looks like this, a straight line. We can actually solve this problem in reverse order. At the last step, that's kind of the base case. So starting from step two, we can get to step four with one plus one. So we're pretty much coding up the Fibonacci sequence. Two is going to be the sum of the two previous numbers. We can return the second one and there you go. 